Tuesday, Tuesday. with licensed professional counselor, Unetta Spring. All right, y'all. I'm Rick Smart. The morning show. We got uh, counselor Unetta Spring on with us this morning, man. Top of the hour. I'm so excited to have you. Uh, uh, today, uh, I th- shoot, I think all of us got personal stuff. Uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. How you doing? We good. We good. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm good. I, I got some. Why do I, uh, I mean, I just kind of feel like, and maybe Eva, Brett, Gary, uh, y'all can let me know what y'all think about this. I feel like uh, once I get off the air, I feel like I've been forced into early retirement. What you think, <laughs> Gary? Yes. I feel the same way. I'm like, first of all, with me being here by myself, I'm like, hell, what do I do next? <laughs> and you get mm-hmm. up there, you just walk around, I just got one room. I'm like, okay. And and some of, I heard I heard one of uh, a bishop said that this is a uh, that everybody is dealing with a form of grief that grief don't necessarily mean that somebody died. Grief means that um man my boy Roland explained it to me yesterday. Uh, grief means yeah. uh, uh can, can what are we feeling? Yeah, absolutely, it is. It's absolutely a form of grief, right? Because we are having to wrap our minds around the idea that the way that we did things before we can't do them anymore right so i know everybody on the morning show you guys are super busy and productive and your life is very fast paced right so to go from a fast paced lifestyle to now i'm stuck in the house like bored in the house bored in the house bored (laughs) you know what i mean like that is that's difficult right that's challenging so it is a form of grief because you're grieving like that lifestyle that you had before all of this happened and you, you know, know what? That is true, though, you know, because I, this morning, Rika had said something to me, and it just made me snap. I think because I'm Oh, he grieving. cussed me out. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Council Spring, he cussed me out this morning. I said, he must be stressed. Of course, of course, you know, I had a cussing grandmother, so I didn't take it personal. I don't care. I just laugh at him right. because I know something. Yeah, I know that he needs some prescription, but uh, <laughs> is it? I mean, I mean, I mean, Brent, Eva, for y'all, I mean, do y'all feel grief? I feel a heightened sense of anxiety. Like, I'm always anxious, yeah. especially when I go out, because I feel like no one is wearing protective gear. And I feel like I'm spazzing out at the store, and I don't want to, but no one is being uh, as cautious as they need to be. Right. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and you just and you just want to know what's next and what does the future hold? And it's like, when are things going to get back to normal? And is this the new normal? It's not going to ever be like it used to be. We're not going to be able right. to just walk around and do things without wearing a mask or having fear of catching something. Like, because after Corona, mm-hmm. something else is going to come. Like, it's mm-hmm. where's this stuff coming from? And how did Lysol know about the coronavirus before anybody else did? Well, I can answer that. I mean, <laughs> come cor- cor- yeah, this this strand of the coronavirus, the coronavirus has been a uh, corona has you know has been around for a while, but it's just this particular strand of it. Mm. Yeah, so it, okay. yeah, it's been around for a well, while. Well, but did the nail techs know about this? Because they've been wearing masks all the time, and we just started wearing them. I mean, did that's they for know? The dust. That's the dust. That's for that's the, the dust. vapors. <laughs> the <laughs> vapors that's from right. the chemicals they use, Gary. Oh. Right, we right. The- and we're just trying to figure out, like, who knew about this before? Why Why didn't we get a warning? Yeah. So I think with, you know, anxiety is like that future mindset, right? So if you're feeling very anxious, more than likely, your mind is in the future trying to figure out what's going to happen. When will this end? And that's something we don't have an answer to, right? Right. right? So the best way to handle that is just to be as present as possible. Right. And when I say present, focused on what I can do now. Right. Um, I get you um, either in terms of going to the store because some people feel like because I'm tired of Corona, Corona is over. And that's yes. not the reality yes. of the situation. Yes. Um, well, I think because so a like lot we, of the states reopened, um, a lot of people right. just feel like the state's open so we can just walk around. Right. What was and that you said so, yesterday? You said we think Corona is over. Uh, Council Spring, you said what, what yesterday you said? Barona yeah, because ain't... we're tired of it. Corona is not over because we want it to be over or because we're tired of being in the house or tired of, you know, taking these extra precautions, right. you know. So it is it is a lot to, to handle and to deal with um, on top of if you already had like pre-existing um, mental health issues. So now is the time that, you know, we really need to get out here and seek help. Right. And talk to somebody about what you're dealing with, because there's just so much power in being able to just have a sounding board and talk about all of these things because they're so valid right now. 
Dr. Right, Spring, uh, this is Rock T. And yeah. my son is 10. And before Corona, mm-hmm. he was always wanting to go outside and play with his friends, didn't spend much time on his phone at all. Now, since Corona, he... Uh-huh. Can't get him. Uh, he can't put the phone down. That's what he's gonna say. Took over his phone. <laughs> I, it's okay, Roxy. I think what he was saying can you, is, can you hear you me? Know, now since I can hear you, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, and I bring him outside with me as much as I can, cut the grass, wash the car, you know, clean the garage. But he's really, he would be hibernating in his room and hypnotized to that phone all day if we didn't put a restriction on it. Should, should that be a concern? Right. Yeah, I think just putting restriction on electronics is important, just period, before corona, right? But right now, just being mindful that um, we have to find different ways to occupy and to keep our children's minds moving. Um, because they can b- develop like addiction, you know, to these gadgets and to um, being online. So just creating those boundaries, like just because Corona is here doesn't mean um, I'm just going to let you stay on your electronics because you don't have anything else to do. Right. Um, so getting him outside and giving him breaks and finding time for him to be like creative, build things, do things, you know, that's very important right now. Um, just to create that sense of normalcy within your household um, is important. Yeah. All right. So let everybody know how you can be reached. All right. So you can reach me on uh, social media, Spring Forth Counseling. That's on Facebook and Instagram. Um, my website is springforthcounseling.org. Or if you want to sign up to subscribe to my mailing list and get resources, you can text me at text spring to 55444. Hey, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, counselor, you know the spring, better known as Can We Talk for a Minute? <laughs>